you describe Embiid and your role in making him a better and making him good? Um, first of all, you're just saying describe him just period? Yeah, his ability. Um, JoJo has a lot of talent. JoJo can be as good as he really wants to be. A 7 foot, a 7 5 wingspan, good handle on the ball, good touch around the rim, nice jumper as well. You can't really ask for much more in a player, especially not in the center. And nimble feet from playing soccer and a shot block from playing volleyball. Like, the <laughs> list goes on and on. But um, my role in, in helping him is just helping him attain knowledge about the game. You know, JoJo's been playing now for what people have been saying, like five years or whatever, five, about five years. So that's not too long. He's still young in the game of basketball, and he's definitely young in the game of college, so college ball. So it's just my job to help him mature in the game, understand a couple of things, and just help him with the little things on the court to make him that much better of a player. A little nervous maybe in the opener? You've been through these several times, but do you still get a little bit nervous? Was that noticeable? Um, last week? To be honest with you, I wasn't too nervous last week. I think I was I was anxious, very anxious to go ahead and kick off the last season, especially my last season of college ball. Uh, I never had this experience again. But um, I'm not really too nervous, not really too nervous right now. Like I said, just very anxious to see just what's going to come with this team. You expect big changes from game one to game two? Uh, Joel's kind of, the practice has been a little bit different, but maybe you focused on some different things that you learned last week. Definitely, definitely, because you, we, we, didn't know, we didn't know what we were in for at first. We didn't know what kind of team we were going to be once we got down the court, and it wasn't five of us against five of us. It was five of us going against some other guys and substituting in and getting actually getting some rest, rotating, getting different lineups and things that we haven't seen. So it's just it's it's another it's a different type situation, especially too when you throw in the fan factor. You know, you have a crowd, you have sixteen thousand fans screaming. It's just it's mind boggling and, and, and we got to see how we're gonna react in those situations and it was good for us and also it's good we played twice this week because then next week we have a big game. So it's good for us. Emphasis on defense, maybe a little bit from coach. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think that's going to be our main thing. That's going to really, truly, our defense can can make our offense. If we play past some lanes, get out, get, get up on the floor, protect the rim, we can get out and run with the best of them. It's just a matter of not allowing allow the other team to score. New rules, you got into foul trouble pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that was frustrating. What do you do to stay out of that? And how big a factor are those new rules and, and a couple of ones that you picked up? Um, from watching film, we all just have to help each other. We have to protect each other. I have to protect the guards, and the guard, like, when the, and I have to let the guards know that, hey, you don't have to put your hands on them and try to stop them at all costs. I got your back on the back side. But at the same time, the guards have to let me know that you don't have to, we're not going to allow you to give up easy fouls. We're going we're gonna to lock up out in the perimeter and we're all going to do our job. So it's a team effort and getting better with team defense and help and things like that. Do you think you and Nadir are going to be huge like next week in the and in all the big games? Are you going to have to talk to the young guys? Um, and how are you asking that question? Are you saying we're going to be like, big like as far as being vocal or as players? Yeah, I mean both. When you both. play somebody like Duke. Yeah, I think because we're good players at the, end of, at the end of the day. We're older guys. Yes, we do possess knowledge. We have played in big games. But I, I like to think that we're pretty, we're pretty talented players ourselves. Uh, you know what I mean? So. I think we're going to be big factors as far as players, as far as being players on the floor and producing on the floor. But at the same time, we're definitely going to be huge, huge factors in, in getting the team ready and prepared for a game like that. So you mentioned you're still kind of feeling each other out and figuring out what you have. How long do you think that process takes, and when do you think you'll know, you know, feel comfortable with each other? We'll the whole season we'll be figuring each other out. I played with guys three years straight back in Memphis and still build some things. We still misinterpreted some things with one another. So you never fully figure people out, but at the same time, you just get a better feel and you get a comfortable, you, you feel comfortable on the floor with one another. And that's the point we're trying to get to, is just feel comfortable on the floor with one another and not feel like, oh, what is he about to do, what is he about to do? Now you feel like, okay, kind of understand what he's about to do, so then I can react off of him. And that's, that's what we need to get to as a team.